Hi and welcome to a short video review of Sony's VPL VW1000ES. This is Sony's flagship 3D projector, which uses their new native 4K panel and incorporates an entirely new digital image engine. The 4K panel in the VW1000 uses 4096 lines by 2160 lines, resulting in over 8 million pixels and a resolution that is four times higher than current high definition. Currently, the VW1000 is the only native 4K consumer projector available on the market, but as with any early adopter product, it does come at a price. The VW1000 retails at a hefty £18,000. When you first see the VW1000, the most obvious feature is the large central lens, which sits behind a motorized cover when the projector is off. Clearly, this high-quality lens accounts in part for the increased price, and is needed to take advantage of the higher resolution 4K panel. There are two HDMI inputs, along with a component video input, VGA input, a LAN port, an RS-232 connector for system control, and two 12 volt triggers. The provided remote control is well designed and laid out, with a backlight and useful buttons that take you directly to controls for the lens memory, picture presets and calibration features. The VW1000 is also a 3D projector that uses a built-in infrared emitter and comes with two pairs of anti-shutter glasses. These glasses are very well designed, with large lenses that fit comfortably over regular glasses and effectively block out any ambient light. The menu system is well laid out and clearly labelled, but is rather monochromatic in appearance. There is a selection of picture presets, as well as controls for selecting the colour temperature, gamma and colour space. The VW1000 also includes a lens memory function, which allows users with a 2.35 to 1 screen to create multiple aspect ratios without resorting to an expensive anamorphic lens. Another useful feature is the ability to precisely align the panels on a zone-by-zone -zone basis, although on our review sample, the panels are already aligned perfectly. The calibration controls are somewhat limited, with just a two-point white balance control for calibrating the grayscale and some software for fine-tuning the gamma. We found that the reference picture preset offered the best out-of-the-box performance. The resulting grayscale was reasonably accurate, with green tracking close to our target of 100, but a slight excess of red and a deficit of blue resulting in some minor errors. The gamma, however, was tracking close to our target of 2.4. By using the two-point white balance control, we were able to calibrate a reference grayscale performance with errors of less than one. The color performance was also quite good for a pre-calibrated setting, and especially in the most important measure of luminance. There was some oversaturation in the color of red, green, and yellow, and some errors in the hue of red and green, but overall this was a good performance. Whilst there is no color management system on the VW1000, by accurately calibrating the grayscale, we were able to improve the color performance. Thankfully, the VW1000 scaling in Sony's proprietary reality creation engine are superb, and in conjunction with the high quality lens, deliver some stunningly detailed and artifact free images with high definition content. The motion handling on the VW1000 was also impressive, and a clear step up from previous Sony projectors. When it came to 3D content, the VW1000 was even more impressive, delivering bright images that were completely free of flicker, crosstalk or other artifacts. The result was a wonderfully immersive experience and quite simply some of the best 3D we have seen to date. The VPL VW1000ES is a wonderful projector, combining a fantastic 2D picture with a near reference 3D performance and we have absolutely no hesitation in awarding a highly recommended batch. You can read the full in-depth review at www.avforums.com. Com slash reviews. Thanks for watching.